All right, this week we're going to meet me. I'm the stringer we're going to meet this week. Uh, Victor did this a little while back. He made this project. Um, please don't laugh at the mustache. Victor put this together with a little bit of a, a little bit of Dearborn help here, a little bit of Dearborn love. So here is me the stringer. My name is Scott Lane and I run Loud Labs News. My reality is people's most harshest reality. On an ideal night, I would love to get out of my house around eight to 10 at night. Most people are having dinner, going to bed, watching TV around that time. I'm just starting my day. I started in the year 2000. I was putting together trade show booths and working at Olive Garden as a server before, but I was always playing with cameras. And when I got this job, you had to learn things. 335 Los Lee, Suspect North. So you started learning codes and fire stations and what stuff means and you weed out the stupid stuff and you retain the good stuff and all of a sudden I know a lot of useless information unless I'm in my car. Hey Kate Taylor, it's Scott with LLN. It's calling to let you know of a story I just fed to you. It's going to be slugged backyard fire. It's a pretty decent fire. Started in a, a garage and spread to their backyard. So you should have backyard fire there now. Cool, thank you so much. The two main things I worry about with this job is one, being shot, or two, crashing into somebody. I can't control being shot, but I can control crashing into somebody. So that's one of the major things we need to worry about as we're driving safely to a story. And you shoot like this, because you're, you're in neighborhoods where you're not safe and they don't really want you there. There's a story that uh, it was a hotel fire, and it's one of the hotels where you live in that hotel for a while. You got two more jumpers right here. Multiple people jumped off the second story. Firefighters are just walking by them, fighting the fire first, and these people are crawling away from the scene, so I just put the camera down, went and helped them out of the scene. Knowing that the camera is rolling and watching me be a hero, but at the same time, I'm like, dude, I can't watch this lady crawl anymore. Like, she was just crawling away from the fire, and I was just like, ah. A, a, a regular person would have just put it all down, stop hitting record, but I am a cameraman. 